to Bonita's Kitchen. What I'm going to be doing for you today is Parchaberry Jam. Parchaberry is a local berry that we pick here in Newfoundland. Uh, these were picked uh, this summer. Um, I froze them and now I'm going to use them for my Christmas uh, jam. Uh, so we're going to be using six cups of Parchaberries, two cups of sugar, I'm going to be using some orange zest and some uh, fresh ginger grated. Um, we're going to be using two cups of water. Um, so we'll start with our parchaberries. Okay, so we'll have six cups of parchaberries. I'm going to put them into the boiler. And like I said, I got them frozen here, so we're going to measure out another four cups. Exactly six cups and we're going to do two cups of water you can go cold water we we need to add the water because we don't want the parchaberries to burn while cooking and then this is what we look like in our boiler now we're going to take this to our stove to start the boil. okay so now we're going to start our parchaberries boiling on a medium heat, you don't want it to burn. Um, we'll get this boiling, I'm gonna cover it for now. Once it starts boiling, we're gonna add uh, our two cups of sugar, and then um, we'll add the orange zest and our grated ginger, and I'll show you each step and explain it as we go. Thank you. Okay, while we're waiting for our parcher berries to start to boil, I'm gonna cut off some ginger. And we're going to grate about um, a teaspoonful of grated ginger. I'll just put it into this jar. And we'll do about a teaspoonful of the grated zest. The zest will put a nice flavor to our parcher berries. If you don't like ginger or oranges, you don't need to add it to this, um, to this jam. You can just add the sugar and the parcher berries and it'll be just as nice and tasty. I just want to make it a little more festive because I'm making it for my Christmas jam. So almost at a teaspoonful. You can always go a little bit more. I just like that little little bit of spice. And same for your your orange. Just great. Only the orange part. You don't need any of the the oranges. You could use it after in something else. I just enjoy it. You could use any type of orange. You don't have to have um, a mandarin, or you could use just your ordinary navel orange. is good as well. You just want your zest. Okay, so that looks about good. So we'll just add this now to our parchberry boil. Okay, now we're going to check on our parchberries. Looks like it's starting to, to boil. We want it to, to reduce um, a little bit. You know, you want to see that the berries are starting to cook before you add the sugar. But what we're going to do right now is add our zest and our uh, ginger to this stage because I want for it to boil with it so the flavors are all gone through. So mix all this together. All right, it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to cover it again. And we'll check it again. It usually we needed to boil for about 15 minutes on boiling, and then we'll add the sugar, and um, and after that we'll reduce the heat. All right. Very jam is starting to boil. I'm going to take the lid off it at this point, as you can see, because it starts to foam up, and you don't want for it to boil over. So just remove your lid to the side. Continue the boiling. Wait for, like you said, the 15 minutes is up once it starts boiling. You can time it from 
the starting of the boil, 15 minutes, and then we'll add in our sugar. I just want for it to reduce down just that little bit more before I add the sugar. Okay, all right, so just now we're going to start adding our sugar. As you can see, it's come to a complete boil. So it's two cups of sugar to six cups of partridge berries. It could be fresh partridge berries or freshly frozen. You can buy it at your local market or you can pick them fresh yourself when the season is there. Okay, so now it already was boiling for 15 minutes before. So now we're going to let it simmer on a medium heat for another 15 minutes so you can time it just so the sugar could reduce some of your liquid and and condense just that small amount and then after that we'll pour them into our jars I got the lid sterilizing into some warm water there now and uh, then I'll show you the amount to bottle there okay okay so my 15 minutes is up um, it's boiled nicely. I'm going to add a tablespoonful of pitta. And this you can get at any grocery store. You can buy it to add to it. You don't need to add it because your jam, once it's condensed, it would, uh, you know, seal nice in your jars and it'll also be a nice jam. But I'm going to add it into mine. All right then, so I'm going to take it over to my counter and we're going to start to bottle it. The bottling, the fun part. So I'm going to scoop up into each jar. I already cleaned and sterilized the jars prior to. And of course I boiled my lids so as they'll seal, so they're nice and hot. Scoop into each one. I'm thinking that it's going to make five jars. I might have a little bit more. Sometimes you just never know. So these are one cup jars. You can put it into a big one. I like putting it into separate ones because I like giving it as Christmas gifts. And then the right portional size. Oh, it's great to get it a last little bit. So that was six cups of partridge berries, two cups of sugar, one teaspoonful of orange zest, and one teaspoonful of ginger, and then uh, two cups of water. And now, we're going to take our lids and put on each one while they're nice and hot. Now you can put it back into boiling water. If you want them to seal totally, put it back into boiling water until they totally seal for about 5-10 minutes. Or if you're just going to be keeping them and eating it right away, you can store it in your fridge and you won't need to do a total seal because it will seal because it's hot, the jar is hot and the lid is freshly boiled and hot. So this is your partridgeberry jam. Um, you can dress it up for Christmas, put a nice little bow around it, give it as a Christmas gift. Enjoy, it's absolutely delicious. I'll post the recipe with this episode of Bonita's Kitchen. Thank you for joining me and you have a Merry Christmas.